Hello, this is Martin Snoutwood, your resident music news reporter for Scry TV. I'm here today to bring you news of a rock and roll phenomena known as Mig Mastodon. Is he a rock legend or a bringer of doom? That's what I want to know. But this is no ordinary musician, not by any means, no. He is a shapeshifter, and he has impersonated many idols over the years, including me. Mig's initial lack of musical ability allowed him to invent punk music as early as 1914, whilst making anti-art in the Dadaist art movement. Do you remember that, hey? Do ya? This is where he tortured audiences with an out of tune double bass and hammered repeatedly on a sheet of corrugated iron whilst having a cardboard box over his head. This happened at many of the Cabaret Voltaire evenings held in Europe. Of course, round about that time, the Germans wanted to use him as a sonic weapon, but he weren't having none of it. No way! So he defected to Russia after the Great War, where he played mountain music for the Communist Party for many years. When Stalin rose to power though, it was a different story. Mig was exiled and had to do a runner to Mongolia, where he lived in a yurt for many years, creating his own stringed instruments from catgut and wooden boxes until he perfected the everlasting bass note, which is still resonating in the far reaches of space today. Mig eventually hopped on a freight vessel and landed in California during 1947. From here, he travelled extensively in the United States, teaching his technique to a number of guitarists. They adapted Mig's wonderful teachings and became some of the biggest names of those times. So, by the time the 70s had come, Mig was an old codger. So, using his shape-shifting abilities, he regenerated into a younger form after taking a powerful dose of LSD mixed with what he claims to be a Siberian elixir known as cedar nut oil. He transformed from this dodgy old fucker into a young lad as he prepared himself for the coming punk era. He had foreseen this coming, having spent many nights in Mongolia meditating with his stringed devices whilst regularly attracting whole colonies of bees in the summer with his droning bass sounds. Having devastated America with his discordant feedback techniques and setting music on a new trajectory, he moved to London, once again a young man, and settled in Bethnal Green. From here, he shapeshifted into many famous musicians. He did this out of jealousy. He was annoyed that all his pupils did so well, so he became, for short limited periods, a number of rock and roll pop legends. With all this shape-shifting going on, he wanted an each for himself. So, he took a back seat during the punk era in a band called Look Mummy Clowns, which later transformed into Peckinpah. Otherwise, he instigated such bands as Hector, Boris and Felicity. He went solo in 2005 and became Ragged Angel, Worn Torn Tell, Yoi, and then finally, he formed his own band called Sleep Disorder. So Mig stopped hiding in the shadows and eventually revealed himself in his true form with his amazing psychic cash machine. I suppose you're wondering how I know all this. Well, the answer is clear and simple. 
These images you have seen of the punk rock legend Mig Mastodon are not real. They are false. He is an imposter. I am the real Mig Mastodon and I know everything about myself. I'm 150 fucking years old, right? And there's only one me. I am unique. And I'm from Camberwell, not the Acne Marshes. Fucking Mick Mastodon and his psychic cash machine. That was my idea. My fucking idea. And as for the others, I invented Dardoism. I invented anti-art. I did. It was me. All the time. Transaction. Fucking Hugo Ball and John Blaggers. That's what they are. Yeah, fucking blaggers. Look, I can fucking prove it, yeah? I'll fucking prove it to all of you. I am Mick Mastodon. Watch this. See? That's my fucking guitar, and I can fucking play it, right? Psychic cash machine, yeah, I'm a fucking psychic, and a hoover. Sing on the hoover, yeah. Psychic cash machine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. Blaggers, rock and roll musicians, all of you, all of you, it's all because of me, me, I tell you, me. Listen to that. It's fucking music to my fucking ears. I love it. Never mind the car alarm. Listen to that lovely Hoover. Oh yeah. Royal Britannia, chop off the fucking Queen's head. Leon Trotsky forever!